OnePlus seems to have settled into a rhythm of releasing a new smartphone every six months or so. We aren't surprised anymore because there's new hardware and new trends to take advantage of. The new OnePlus 6 joins a growing number of notched smartphones, but it's also the first model in India to launch with the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor. There's a lot to talk about, but before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of all our new videos. First of all, the OnePlus 6 has a brand new design, or rather, three brand new designs. There's glass on the back now, but each color option has a different texture and finish. Mirror black is the most conventional with a highly glossy reflective surface that looks great but picks up a lot of fingerprints and smudges. Then there's midnight black which has a matte finish that feels a lot like metal and silk white which has a softer matte texture but also a rose gold frame. Then of course there's the carbon fiber patterned Avengers limited edition and you can check all of these out in our other videos at Gadgets360. The front and rear of all variants are made using Corning Gorilla Glass 5 for durability. We didn't really like the pre-applied plastic screen protector, which shouldn't be necessary and takes away from the smooth appearance of the front. The phone is comfortable to hold thanks to a curved glass rear panel. Construction quality is excellent for the most part, but we're disappointed with the rough protective rim around the camera sensor, which was also a problem with the OnePlus 5. Because of the notch, the screen has increased in size even though this phone is not significantly larger than the OnePlus 5T. You might not be able to reach all corners with one thumb. We also found that the fingerprint sensor is placed a bit too low on the rear thanks to the new vertical camera module. That isn't a huge issue because the OnePlus 6 supports face recognition, which is very quick. In fact, the phone often unlocked itself before the lock screen could even be shown. OnePlus fans will note that the alert slider has moved from the left to the right and now lets you switch between ring, vibrate and silent rather than the Android Do Not Disturb mode. The company has also pointed out that it has not ditched either the notification LED or the 3.5mm audio socket, which many others have done. On the downside, OnePlus still doesn't support micro SD cards. Another differentiator for OnePlus is its Oxygen OS fork of Android. On the surface, it's a lot like stock Android, but there are quite a few tweaks and UI improvements. The most interesting is an optional custom gesture scheme that takes a little while to get used to. There's also a gaming mode that limits background apps, internet usage, and routes calls directly to the loudspeaker. The AMOLED screen is extremely vivid with punchy colors and great viewing angles. It's rounded at the corners and you can mask the notch if you like by making the space around it black. There's only a mono speaker. Sound is surprisingly loud and deep, but it will tear at full volume. One of the most interesting things about the OnePlus 6 is its brand new Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor. In terms of raw power, this phone is up there with the likes of the Samsung Galaxy S9 and that really shows in heavy games and benchmark tests. Our graphics and CPU tests posted scores that were in several cases higher than those of the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9+. Plus. Games also run really well because of the relatively low resolution screen. At 1080x2280, there just aren't as many pixels to push as with other brands' flagships. The OnePlus 6 is extremely responsive with day-to-day -day tasks, but with this kind of usage, honestly, you won't be able to tell much difference between this phone and its predecessor. The 16 megapixel primary rear camera now features optical and electronic image stabilization and a 19% larger sensor for better light sensitivity. The secondary 20 megapixel camera helps with depth effects in portrait mode and low light photography. Video capture goes up to 4K at 60 FPS, but you can only record for 5 minutes in this mode. 30 FPS 4K clips are limited to 10 minutes. There's also a new 480 FPS super slow motion mode at 720p. The camera app feels somewhat bare bones, but there are more options to play with in pro mode. Photos taken in the daylight look good, and the OnePlus 6 can handle compositions with bright light and shadows. Close-ups look especially good with a lot of fine details reproduced well. However, some textures came out looking quite artificial and over-processed. At night, we were able to take photos in extremely poorly lit areas, and objects still came out looking recognizable. Noise is minimal, and there's a surprising amount of detail. Videos were also very clear, and we didn't have any trouble with focus shifting or jerky motion. The battery lasted us well over a day with normal usage, including a fair bit of gaming and video streaming. We ended our day with over 20% left and we didn't have to worry at any point. 
You get this enormous dash charger in the box with the phone, but surprisingly wireless charging isn't supported despite the glass back. Overall, we're a little surprised that the OnePlus 6 is only slightly more expensive than the 5T considering all the improvements. It offers excellent value compared to today's big brand flagships, but you definitely don't get all the nice touches such as wireless charging, an IP rating for damage resistance, and a high resolution screen. The cameras are very good, but not quite at the level of today's best. On the other hand, this phone currently has a huge performance advantage because these specifications are simply unmatched at this price for now. Fans of OnePlus who are looking for an upgrade will most likely be very happy with the OnePlus 6. Thanks for watching and for more videos and reviews like this, do visit us at gadgets360.com.